I'm Carlene Rose and welcome to another Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're going to start our practice in a um, easy go mukasana or cow face pose. So I want you to tuck your left foot underneath you, right foot's going to be on top. Um, as best as you can, you're going to stack your knees on top of each other. Now they don't have to be touching or anything. You can have one knee way up here. You can put a pillow between your, your legs, block, whatever the case may be. Um, you can even have a block underneath you that can help if your knees are really separated, you'll notice that your hips start to rotate down. So if you have a block, that'll help rotate your hips back to be level and help you um, kind of grow that, that flexibility for your knees. So it's a good way to just let gravity do the work here. So that's all we want. Gravity's doing the work with our legs. We're gonna start with our breathing. So inhale here, expanding our belly. Wide in all directions and exhale, squeezing our air in and out, exhaling through our nose. This is our Mula Bandha breath. So inhale here, exhale, inhaling, exhale. We're going to do a quick arm stretch. So take your arms in front of you, wrap your right arm underneath your left. Um, you can have your hands just touching, or if you've got flexibility, wrap them all the way around. You're going to lift your elbows high here, and exhale, just rounding out your back. So we'll do a bit of a cat-cow. Inhale, arching, just a mini arch here. Exhale, rounding your back, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, really make sure this movement is in your upper back and see if you just hold this stretch here. And even though we're a bit twisted, want to, well, sort of twisted and sort of confined, you still want to use that move under breath, expanding your belly wide. And release your arms, feels so good. And switch legs. So now right leg is underneath, left leg is on top. Um, your feet are kind of scooting towards the back of your mat. Again, finding whatever the comfortable position is this way for you, just making sure that your hips aren't rotating back so your low back is popping out like this or anything. You want hips square onto the earth and then your knees kind of going where they may. So inhaling again, exhale. Inhale, exhale, very nice. Inhaling one more time, exhale. And keeping that breath going as we add our arms and stretch. So left leg or arm is underneath this time. Again, you can have hands touching or wrapping around. Lifting your elbows up first so we don't want our elbows tucked in or anything. Lift them up and away from your face. Start idea stretching your shoulders. Inhale, arch. Just a mini back bend and exhale, rounding out your spine and your upper back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale last time. And exhale, holding this stretch, getting into your upper back. Starting to release any tension that you have in your upper back, your neck, your shoulders. And exhale, gently release that. Very nice. Now from here, make your way however you want to get there to a down dog. Make sure you've got your fingertips and ring, uh, ring of the palm planted firmly onto the earth. Pedal out your feet here if you want to start to warm up the backs of your legs. And from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. Wave your spine long, create a lot of space for your neck and your shoulders, and then bending deeper, getting your elbows involved, wave yourself forward to plank, come onto your knees, we'll go through a diagonal chaturanga, have healthy shoulder alignment, wave yourself in and up, you can come to cobra, you can come to a high cobra, you can come to a lower cobra if that feels good, and exhale back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here we'll get a little bit more twisted. So we're going to spin your feet and bend your knees to the right. So we're in a twisted dog. So we're going to just stretch our right side body. Now 
extend yourself out to plank, unbending your knees, and bending now the other direction. So feet are twisting, knees are bent to the left. We're coming into that twisted dog again. And don't worry about moving your feet here. They're kind of in like a walking like an Egyptian type position. So you've got one sort of in front of the other. So just leaving your feet kind of where they are and then spinning on your toes. Come to plank. Twisted dog to the right. And back up to plank. Exhale, twisted dog to the left. Very nice, back to plank. One last time here, twisted dog to the right. This time I want you to keep your feet where they are. You just extend your legs. So again, feet, knees, everything stays the same. Now we're in a twisted side plank here. Take your right foot, place it about halfway up on the mat. We have a bent knee, bent right knee, about 90 degree angle. You're on the um, edge of your back foot. Right arm is gonna extend to the sky. Really pressing into the earth with both of your feet so your hips are lifted. Wave your spine long. Holding this stretch for another moment. Now for a fun, funky thing, you're actually going to come all the way onto the floor, sitting down. Rotate around. So now we have your right foot is already on the opposite side of your left leg. We're going to do a spinal twist. So inhale, right arm lifts, or excuse me, left arm lifts. Twisting to the right, hook your left hand onto your outer right knee. Lifting long through the spine, twisting from your belly, looking over the right shoulder to complete the twist. Making sure that twist is coming from your side body and your abdominal strength. You don't want your arm to be the one twisting you. You want your twist coming from your strength. Your arm is to help get a little bit deeper stretch in your leg and make sure that you're lift, kind of reminding you to lift your spine tall. Um, gently release that. Make your way back. So this will be kind of a fun, funky transition. Right foot's planted on the earth. Hands plant down. Stepping back to your high plank. Coming through your diagonal chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Weaving yourself in and up. Back to down dog. And now to that twisted dog on the left again. We'll try that same funky sequence on this side. So extending out into your side plank and you've got your feet kind of one foot out and one foot in front of the other. Holding this for a moment and then stepping your left foot about halfway up your mat. So you've got that 90 degree angle again on the back edge of your right foot. Really pressing into the earth with your feet, lifting your hips up, extending your spine long, uh, left arm extends. You can look to the earth, you can look to the floor, whatever is most comfortable for you. And from here, our funky transition again. So coming all the way down to the earth. So you're going to take a moment sitting on your right side and then I'm going to scoot some on my mat. Twisting, so now your right leg is extended long in front of you. Flex heel and left foot is already on the outside of your right leg. Inhale, wave your spine long, right arm lifts, twist yourself. So again, that twist is coming from your um, core strength, your abdominal strength. Hook your right elbow onto your left knee. That way you can pull your knee and your leg just a little bit closer to your body for a deeper hip stretch. Extending your spine long still, make sure you don't lose that. And then finish the twist by looking over your left shoulder. more breaths in this position. And then our fun
funky transition back. So rotating around, coming on to your foot again, starting to lift up, planting your hands, stepping back to your high plank, come onto your knees, diagonal chaturanga to the earth. Inhale here, prepare, rolling yourself in and up to cobra. Exhale back to down dog. We'll do one last flow through this vinyasa to get that energy moved all the way through. So inhaling, waving to high plank, coming through that diagonal chaturanga again. Inhaling here, prepare, rolling in and up. You can even come to up dog if that feels good, lifting your legs off the earth. And exhale through your pointed plank back to your down dog. And walking your feet forward. You're gonna make your way to a seated position. We'll come into a wide leg forward fold. So finding a comfortable wide leg position for you. Uh, your legs can be wider than this, they can be closer than this. Maybe you're here. Wherever you are in the spectrum, that is perfect. That's where we're gonna hang out today. So finding that wide leg stretch. You wanna be just at a tiny edge of stretch here, um, just sitting up. And if that's enough of a stretch for you, Hang out there. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, walk yourself forward. Make sure again your sits bones are grounded into the earth. You have a long spine extending through the crown of your head and then walking yourself forward to that first edge of stretch. Uh, you can flex your feet here and when you're doing this make sure that your um, legs not rotating back or forward. You want your knees and your uh, toes pointed up, that way we're not twerking our hips or knees in any weird position. Getting into our inner thigh, which are a part of our deep core line, so we don't want to neglect that at all. Walking yourself back up and swinging your legs around, making your way onto your back. Have your feet planted and windshield wiper your legs for a moment. And from here, walk your feet out, maybe just to the outside of your mat, unless your knees fall towards each other. using that little abundant breath as we're starting to make our way into a cool down resting pose. Whenever you're ready, you can walk your feet back to center, walk them out long onto the mat. You can even windshield wiper your feet here, that can feel good. You can even get a little shake through your body as you do that. And then settle into that final resting pose relaxing out onto your mat and onto your floor. Settling into a new neutral after that fun, funky flow. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you on the mat again. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you get notifications when we have new videos. And of course, get on the League of Nerdy Yogi email list because we have exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.